transportation in the Edexcel 9 to 1 geography course. Right, so what you're going to have to know about a solution, suspension, saltation and traction. So they're the types of transportation. And then you're going to have to know about energy, size and particles, so the size of the particles, uh, sediment and deposition. Right, solution is the first type of transportation. And this is where minerals are dissolved in seawater and carried in a solution. OK, so the load is not visible and the load can come from rocks such as chalk, limestone or calcium carbonate. Suspension. Small particles are carried in water. Uh, rocks such as silts and clays. OK, so they're the types of things that are going to get carried in suspension. OK, and this can make the water look cloudy. So when you look at a bit of water and you're like, oh, that's quite cloudy. It's probably because suspension happening in there. OK, so the currents are going to pick up large amount of sediment, but it's going to be small sediment. OK, so large amounts of small sediment during a storm when the water has a large amount of energy. OK, so that's particularly when suspension occurs. Saltation is when the load is bounced along the seabed like small pieces of shingle or uh, large sand grains. OK, so they're the types of sediment that are going to get uh, moved or transported in saltation. OK, and the uh, current cannot keep the larger, heavier sediment afloat for long periods of time. So that's why it's not uh, floating here like it is in a um, suspension here. OK, so it's getting rolled along the bed in saltation. Traction. OK, so this is when you have pebbles or larger bits of sediment which have ro rolled along the seabed. OK, so here, although they're being rolled, they're also bouncing a little bit. So they cannot stay here, but they can bounce a little bit like that. Here, they're literally getting rolled along. So they're never going to come off the seabed. They're just going to get rolled along the uh, seabed. OK, so deposition. That's when thing. Uh, that's when the water doesn't have enough energy to carry the sediment uh, anymore, or to transport the sediment anymore. So it deposits it, which is basically just it dropping it. So it's most likely to occur when there's a shallow area of water, and waves enter a shallow, uh, sheltered area like a cove or a bay, when there's not very much wind, or when there's a large supply of sediment. So it cannot carry all that sediment all at once.